Hi folks. Uh, what we're looking at here is more than a solar panel. Uh, this is a device that was uh, invented or designed by Laser Saber, uh, who posts on YouTube, and he's an electronics experimenter, and uh, he's also an inventor, and he uh, designed this or invented it, and it's a uh, what it is is it's a uh, complete solar power charging station. Uh, it can run uh, electrical and electronic devices. Uh, right here, it's got a 110 volt outlet, and here a USB port. It's all built in. Uh, this is complete with batteries. It's got a charge controller. Uh, it's also got a, uh, <coughs> a circuit controller in installed in it. And uh, this is a 100% complete system. Uh, this is the future, in my opinion, of solar energy for average people to have a, a small uh, portable complete unit that's very easy to use and uh, so laser saber invented it and I built one based on uh, his information and it wasn't just his information uh, there were other people that gave me the clues that I needed in order to build this and uh, get it finished but anyway, uh, it's got an on-off switch, which I'll show you here in a minute, but I'm just going to turn it on. And then uh, I'm going to put on these compact fluorescents. Uh, now, this thing has got uh, 20 amp hours of battery life. And uh, it'll run an 8 amp device. So uh, if you had a, let's say an electric drill that uh, drew six amps of electricity, you could run it for three hours using this if it was fully charged. Now uh, it'll also, turn that on, okay, it'll also charge USB devices, which uh, is pretty cool. It'll charge USB devices. So uh, we're charging this spy watch here, which is uh, a pretty nice little gizmo, actually, kid's toy. But uh, it could just as easily be an iPad or something else. Anyway. Uh, it's got these batteries here. There are four of these. And uh, they're, they're thin and they're flat. And they're actually a little bit expensive. They cost about $30 or $35 each for these, uh, these batteries that you see here. Uh, they, uh, <coughs> each one of these is about 3.3 volts. Each one of these batteries. And these batteries will hold a charge uh, for a very long time, and they'll also, uh, they also have thousands of charge-discharge cycles, okay? So this unit could actually be used for, uh, you know, who knows, five years, ten years, before these batteries would need to be replaced uh, a long time. And then it's got this... Uh, charge control unit which uh, <clears throat> takes the electricity from the solar panel and then it passes through this unit which is the circuit control unit and then it goes back in here. Uh, now this unit here what it does is it balances these batteries so that they don't over or under charge. Uh, this one here will also uh, keep these batteries from overcharging. Now, uh, there's another 
a poster on YouTube, uh, local e-store, and I'll put a link to his video, that built one of these units, more or less the same exact thing, uh, but he didn't include this. Now, <clears throat> I did include it, and I was actually able to get this for a lot less money than uh, than <clears throat> you'd think possible, really. Uh, I got this thing for about eleven dollars, and uh, <clears throat> that was due to uh, another person that posts on laserhacker.com, and that's Laser Sabers. Um, that's Laser Sabers website, and they discuss uh, a lot of different things on there, but it's mainly uh, electronics and uh, you know practical electronics it really is so anyway this is a uh, an inverter this one here it's a really small inverter uh, it's a little expensive those things are about thirty five dollars but uh, it, it gives uh, it's, it's eight amps is what you can get off of this and uh, it also has that USB port, and that, that makes it pretty cool. Now, uh, uh, this is completely portable, and uh, it's about 11 inches wide by a little bit more than 24 long. And it's pretty small, but this is a uh, monocrystalline solar cell, so that's the most efficient kind of solar cell that exists right now, at least for public consumption. Now, I want to mention that uh, <coughs> Laser Sabre, uh, his idea was to have the whole thing fit in to the profile of a standard solar panel. And in order to do that, what he did was he removed the, the boards from the cases. He removed the board from this case and also from this one. And that uh, made it shrink down a little bit. Uh, now, I didn't want to do that. I don't have anything against it, but uh, I didn't want to. I thought it would be better to keep them in the cases if possible. So that's what I did. Uh, so, consequently, <coughs> the profile that I have, uh, I added this uh, channel on here, this aluminum channel, and I cut it to fit, and then uh, I, uh, I glued it on here, and that adds another three-eighths of an inch, which I don't think is a lot. Uh, Three-eighths of an inch is <coughs> not so much that it makes it bulky, uh, not a lot more bulky anyway. So that's what I did. And uh, on mine, I've got this, uh, this vinyl on the back. Now obviously uh, the heat would have some trouble escaping with this kind of backing on it. And I fit this unit in here. Uh, it's got some place for air to escape here. Uh, but of course it's not waterproof. Now, Laser Saber says that he's had his outside on a metal roof through rain and wind and all kinds of stuff. but. I'm not that bold to do that with, with this because uh, I spent about $350 on parts in order to make this thing. And uh, I really, really don't want to get it damaged. But anyway, uh, this would be fantastic for somebody that was bugging out and that wanted to have electricity to bring with them. Uh, it's a really amazing device, or uh, like in the case of that 
so-called Superstorm Sandy. If somebody could have had one of these in their closet, then uh, they would have really been ahead of the game for, for a lot of people. Uh, now, it does have the one on and off switch on this thing, right here. Uh, that's off. And that's on. So, uh, I'm not sure why those compact pack fluorescents are messing around with me right now. Anyway, uh, so it uh, it's got one on and off switch. Uh, now it, it does have limitations. Uh, you know, you don't have unlimited battery power, so you're not going to be running any extreme uh, power hogs using this thing. Uh, but you could probably you could run a lot laptop computer and a a modem uh, with this thing, no problem, and uh, a lot of other devices too, fans, radios, uh, it'll charge, uh, all kinds of units, so uh, now the drawback with this is that uh, this uh, small solar panel here will take 16 hours of sunlight to fully charge these batteries. So, you know, it's got its drawbacks, but uh, it really is an amazing device, uh, really first rate. And I want to thank Laser Saber for coming up with this idea and also for making it a, uh, an open source thing. He's not, uh, he could have very easily marketed this and he decided he wouldn't do it. So, uh, that's very, that's a very uh, good thing for him to do. But that's the overview of this. And uh, I did, uh, there are some things that I would change if I made this again. Uh, but I'm going to save that for the next video. Anyway, that's the overview of this I, this uh, this whole thing here. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, good luck. And I hope you're as excited about this particular idea as I am, because I think it's a an amazing first class idea. Thanks for watching.